Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Don't forget to catch our video that we just did on Tucker Carlson. Uh, he is definitely revealing the secrets that the government has been keeping about uh, UFO of the brain injuries that has caused for more than 100 cases that are in court. Uh, very interesting video. You're not going to want to miss. Just aired that this morning. But also we have breaking news. Russia warns retaliation for Ukraine's attack on the Kremlin. Uh, this here, right here, just ahead of uh, Russia's uh, parade there. You'll see it. There it goes right there. I'll back it up once again there so you can see the uh, drone that's coming in. It's caught on the cam. It's right there. That part of your screen there. Uh, they're saying it was attempt on the president's life, President Putin. And they said they they actually were able to disarm it, uh, have some kind of their jamming technology that caused it to explode. Looks like more of the explosion comes off the top of this building right here. But there again, not really sure. Uh, you know, the, the drone does, though, seem to break up, though, regardless of how it is actually targeted. Um, you can see the drone just falling to the ground in, in the background right there. But uh, nonetheless, Russia is vowing to retaliate. Uh, that definitely is a step up. Uh, let's just see what RT is saying about this, if anything. So let's kind of watch to see. Uh, they're just saying read more. They're not really putting out anything as of yet. I'll just double check over here on RT to see. Yeah, Russia warns of retaliation for Ukraine attack on the Kremlin. Authorities have accused Kiev of targeting Putin's residents with drones. Russia reserves the right to retaliation anywhere, anytime it deems necessary. In response to the drone attack on President Vladimir Putin's residence, the Kremlin has said, officials said, two Ukrainian drones attempted to strike the Kremlin early on Wednesday. Any damage, Putin's office said, Putin's spoke, uh, spokesman Dmitry Peskov told RIA Novosti that the Russian leader was not in the Kremlin when the raid happened. He added that Putin was working at his Novo uh, Ogoryevo residence near Moscow on Wednesday. Nonetheless, more and more penetrating deep inside of Russia, these acts are starting to happen. And uh, I am sure that there are some allies of Ukraine that are very helpful in pulling these attacks off. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Have a good day.